so Jake, Jake just uh, left. I'm in Bear Shaven now, and Jake left, and uh, he had to go back to work and whatnot. But now I'm gonna drive up to Goleon, go check out the Goleon High Tea, um, and see Galley and some rivers up there, the Jordan River and whatnot. But um, yeah, I got a three-hour drive, three-hour drive in front of me. Hopefully, it's not, not too bad. So I made it here to the Sea of Galilee. Um, you probably can't see it, but behind me, back, back, back. I'll be driving down, down the road a little bit. Go check it out. And then I'll be going over to Golan Heights. Where you get some good fish over there. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out. It's just relaxing. I just finished driving for like two hours, so now I can calm down a little bit. Get out of the car and stretch. So I'm here at, um, I'm close to the Sea of Galilee. I'm actually, I'll put a picture up of like where I'm at. But I got the Sea of Galilee. I checked out Golan Heights. There's a couple of places I want to check out maybe in the morning. But right now it's like six, five. It's like five-ish or something. And I don't really know what to do. I think I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Maybe get some dinner, you know, just relax. But uh, the Sea of Galilee is pretty cool. It seems like there's a lot of cool sights. It's just it's still Shabbat, or it's the end of Shabbat. Shabbat ends at sunset, and it's still Saturday. So after that, more stuff will start opening up, and then tomorrow morning, more stuff will open up. I'm actually gonna camp out or car camp for the night out here and um, somewhere, somewhere close to the Sea of Galilee, maybe in the desert. I don't really know, but uh, we'll figure it out. So much. I think I definitely needed that sleep. Alright, so I just woke up. It's like it was 7:30. The time switched, so it jumped forward an hour or backward an hour. So it's technically through 6, 6 30 now. And um uh, almost seven. I'm out here by the Sea of Galilee and I'm gonna go check out a waterfall and a cave up here. Go back by the Jordan River. But the Jordan River actually, there's a, the river and then the spring, a couple of springs that go into the Sea of Galilee and then it comes out of the Sea of Galilee on the south end. So I'm gonna check out that area. The water looks a lot clearer there. I'll probably go swimming. I'll show you guys that. And then I think I'm gonna go, I don't know, I think I might go to a couple of historical sites and then go to, I think today I'm gonna end up in Tel Aviv, maybe go to the beach or something. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see where I go, we'll see where I explore. Too early. If you guys ever want to see car camping, uh... That's how you do it. You just pull down the seats, do your layout, get that bump, put your legs over it, lay out your stuff. Hey man, that's as good as it gets. Got a good place, a good view. You got a sunroof. You check out the, the stars and lay back and pass out. And it's cool because you can pass out anywhere you want. But yeah, that's, that's car camping. If you're as extreme as I am, sometimes it's just the, the best thing to do.
Someone's trying to catch one of them. Okay, so that was the Ian Aob waterfall, and I was trying to do a little bit of fishing. I had a line and a hook in my, my wallet. I always keep a line and a hook with me. Um, I was able to catch one fish. I didn't get it on camera because my, my phone actually ran out of battery, which is kind of a bummer. But um, it was cool. There's like a bunch of these little crabs underneath the rocks. You pull up the rocks, you find a crab. Now you just hook one of the crabs, throw it in the water. And I think they were some version of a carp. Um, but you know, there's a bunch of them in the water. I'll put it. I'll put it on the screen. The the name of the waterfall. I think it's Ian Yog. Ian Ian Ayog. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but Ian Ayog is the waterfall. And um, really beautiful, super relaxing. You know, just hung out there all morning, washed my shirt, let it dry out. Um, you know, just swam around, sat in the waterfall for a bit. Uh, it was cool because it's like. That's like a perfect seat for the of like a rock underneath the waterfall and then it just like hits your back it's kind of like a massage and then i think i'm gonna go up to i might go try to find a cave somewhere to explore uh, and then check out some historical sites but yeah it's been a really good morning so far it's only it's only 10 okay, 9 50 it's only 9 50 so yeah i kind of want to go back and do some more fishing but we'll see maybe i'll do that later this is actually the, the line and hook setup I have. I keep this inside of my wallet. It's on an old old library card I got. But um, I put the line and hook there, and then I can use that for fishing when I'm on the road. Um, just tie it to a stick or something, find some bait around. And then this is my thread and uh, thread and needle in case you know I get a rip in my clothing. I can stitch it up, and I just keep that. If I can fit this here, with, if I can do this with one hand, let's see. Put that inside. Well, I'll put it in one of those pockets. I don't want you guys to see my credit cards, but yeah, I'll just slide it into one of these things, and then you know, if I'm if I find a cool place to go fishing, you know, I'll just go fishing and check it out. 